Hi guys, Oriental Foodie here. So today I will be reviewing uh, this month's uh, snack box, which is Australia. So what snack box is, is a monthly subscription box and every month you have a different country in it. And it comes in this nice box. Um, I've got the original box and you can actually have the bigger box, which is, I think is called the premium box. Um, so this, my original box is £12.99, but I'll put the snack surprise um, description in the link below. So let's start eating. Okay, so Australia. So you get this nice little leaflet, which shows, it gives you the facts about each country uh, every month. And then it gives you the list of um, the contents that you have in the box. And then at the back you usually have it like a different sort of game for you to play if you really want to. So I have my other half with me today. He's down on the floor. Hello. <laughs> He's going to be reading the contents of what's uh, on each um, snack. So we're going to start with the savoury. So we'll go for this one. So shapes, um, shapes original pizza, oven baked. So I'm guessing that's nice and healthy. If you're not fried. Yeah, it literally just reads a popular line of delicious oven baked crackers. Um, <laughs> we could have got barbecue or pizza flavour. Ooh, it smells tomatoey. Mmm, very crunchy. There's a little bit of cheesy flavour, and then you got the red, the tomato flakes on top, like the it's like crushed down dry tomatoes. That's actually quite nice, but can't really taste a lot of like the pizza herbs. It's more, it's more kind of a, like a cheesy cracker. We quite, I've quite had quite a lot of the. Um, pizza flavoured snacks in the snack surprises so far so it all kind of tastes kind of samey samey but this one's less herby but I can taste more cheese in it now the aftertaste <laughs> mm, it's all right next one twisties chicken I'm guessing it's chicken flavoured twisty snacks Enough, the uh, book says they're supposed to be cheese flavoured. Oh, they are a corn and rice snack, they're over 60 years old. Hopefully, not that packet itself, <laughs> oh, but they are available in chicken flavour. So, it looks like we got the alternative. Oh, okay, so it's not cheesy chicken, they look less twisty, they look like um, knickknacks, the ones that you are. Uh, don't know if they still do knickknacks in the supermarkets, but these look like li little knickknacks, not twists. Mm. They've got the texture of knickknacks actually. Can't taste the chicken in that though. It's it's kind of like I think a child could eat this once they like eat on it and suck on it and just get a bit gooey. Mm. Not much taste of it. Not much um, chicken taste to that. Mm. Not sure if I'm too keen on that. French fries! I'm guessing ready salted flavour. You have these in the UK as well. They're also called French fries, but they're longer. These According to this packet, they can be a little bit smaller, I'm guessing. They are a crunchy potato straw snack. Uh, says they go well with the movie, oddly enough, so maybe they're a replacement for popcorn. Yeah. How does that come? Like popcorn out the front, uh, the package. Let's see what's inside. Wow, they are small and very, very thin. The two, Def they're kind of like straw fries, not like French fries that you get in um, like McDonald's. Mm. 
definitely a really salty flavour. A slight crunch, but it's like a soft crunch. Yeah, it's just a really salted crisp. Next one, we'll go for a biscuit. Tim Tam. I know these are Australian ones. I've seen them in quite a few um, videos and people quite like them. Um, this one is chocolate flavoured. They already sound a lot like a wagon wheel from their description. They are biscuits separated by a layer of chocolate cream and then covered with chocolate. So it should be fairly simple. Or maybe a bourbon. No more bourbon. Can't open it. Oh, it's definitely covered in chocolate. Do you have any ideas? Got the chocolate cream inside. It looks like a penguin. I think it'd be more like a penguin than a. Um, what was it? Bourbon. Bourbon? Bourbon. <laughs> Definitely not a bourbon. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more penguin. Mm. Not very sweet chocolatey and it's milk chocolate out, um, on the outside mmm quite like that as you said there's a wagon wheel we have a wagon wheel original and this one's chocolate coated marshmallow and jam we also have these in the UK um, what flavours are the ones in the UK? what's the red one? Uh, red one's original, blue one's chocolate, you could get a double chocolate at one point, you could get um, a cocoa powder. Are they also marshmallow in the middle? I haven't had a wagon wheel in ages. So I'm guessing this one could be a little more sweet because it's got jam in it. I need to open it. Oh, a bit crumbly. Bit crumbled. Oh wow. Jesus. So you got look at the inside, you can see the marshmallow and you can see a bit of jam in there as well. I can taste more the marshmallow than the jam. It's actually not that sweet. I feel like because I only have one bite, it's less sweet. But I don't know if I can eat a whole one. Hmm. Quite like that. Hmm. Onto the chocolate. Dream. Um, now, I've said in my previous videos I don't really like white chocolate. Um, so I don't know if this is a full white chocolate chunk or if there's anything in the middle. It is a white chocolate that contains cocoa butter, so you uh, might not enjoy this one as much. Oh no. I'll try it. Let me in like a... oh. So it comes individually so I can actually snap it. And it definitely just looks like a really thick chocolate. It's Cadbury's, isn't it? Is yep. it Cadbury's? It is Cadbury's. Ah. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Just a chunky white chocolate. The reason I don't like white chocolate is because it's really, really sweet. I prefer dark chocolate. So... That one can be for you. <laughs> Next one. Zappo. Sour grape flavoured chews. So maybe like chew it? Known for its explosive flavour, Zappo fruit chews will leave your leave you with a sour punch of grape. I do like my sour sweets.
you know when you try to open it and you got that top bit that just doesn't want to come out oh there we go it's quite hard it's like pink purpley color mm -hmm. it is like a chew it a little bit of sourness to it, not like a explosive sourness that you get in what is it? Um, the apple sour, I think it's the apple sour ones. Mm. I like my chewy sweets and my sour sweets, I'll go along with this one. Mm. Favorite one so far. I've never missed out another biscuit one. Cherry ripe. Juicy cherries and coconut in old gold rich dark chocolate. If someone can tell me what old gold rich dark chocolate is, is that the same like just dark chocolate? Is there anything in the booklet? The only thing in the booklet for this one just tells you that it is Australia's oldest chocolate bar. Oh, maybe that's what it, where the old gold comes from then. It is cherries and coconut coated with dark chocolate. I don't like coconut, but the rest I can... <laughs> it's a... Like this. Ooh. When you open it, it's... It's like... Chewy. Can you see it? My hands are too small, you can't focus on it. <laughs> So it's red inside. I can smell the coconut. Mm. It's got the texture of like, you know when you had the bounties, it's, it's that kind of coconut. There's more coconut taste in that than cherry. Mm -mm. This one's not for me. Coconut lovers, you love this. Next one is a just a sweet. <laughs> not sure what this one is. That is a fantail. Chewy caramel pieces with rich chocolate coating. There is also celebrity trivia on the wrappers. Oh yeah, got it. It's a who am I? I'll do the trivia at the end of my video. It's this small. Got a little bit of caramel at the bottom there. Mm. It is hard. Mm. You won't like this one. <laughs> my other half doesn't like caramel or toffee. So he won't like this one. I'll continue it to continue to eat it later. Next one. Retro party mix. Allen's. So kinda like Harry Bow maybe? Yeah, so there's very little in the actual book about this. It's just it just says create smiles for your whole family to open the bag. To see what we got inside. If I can open it. Oh! Mm. We'll just open it like a normal person. It looks like you got different shapes. Got some teeth. Look at that. Won't fit. Got some tape bottles. Pineapple. It's kind of like Harry Bow Star Mix. Some weird shaped lips. 
um, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a person. This one's a car. One more shape left. Raspberry. Mm. Um, this one's got more gelatin in than the Haribo one. So it's a bit, it's not like jelly, more, it's not like the jelly ones that you have in Haribo. It's a lot harder. But yeah, not bad. Last one is a drink. Kurt's creaming soda. I don't drink a lot of cream soda, so I'm not sure what to expect from this. I would again just suggest this is cream soda. Uh, it just says it's an Aussie favourite. Does that mean it's going to be really sweet? doesn't say what flavour it is. It looks pink inside. It smells really sweet. I can just taste air. <laughs> Not sure how to feel about that. You drink it, it's a lot of fizz, and then the fizz kind of like disappears and it just has a weird taste in my mouth now. Um, not too sure about that one. <laughs> I'll leave that one. Um, so that's it for the Australia box. I'm not, uh, my favourite one actually was the Zappos. Is it called Zappos? The cherry... Zappo grape. Uh, grape. <laughs> Chewy sweet. I think that was my favourite one out of that box. So yeah, that's it for this month. Okay guys, so that's it for this month um, of Snack Surprise. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon. Next up, I'll give you the celebrity trivia. So trivia time! Who am I? Born in Mississippi in 1954, she graduated from Tennessee State University in speech and performing arts. She's a media personality known for a self-titled multi-award winning talk show, which is fine highest rated program in history. In one show, she gave away members of the audience brand new cars. It ended in 2011 and she began her own television network. The Ultimate Australian Adventure saw her bring her entire show to Australia in 2011. Can you guess who this is? Answers in the comments. I'll put my answer in the comments as well. Bye!